Today, I'm going to show you a full day of plant-based eating at the workplace. We're also going to find out if my coworker is still following a plant-based lifestyle. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my plant-based inspiration. I had a special video request to update you guys on if my coworker who was doing the seven-day plant-based challenge, if she is still vegan, if she's still following the course, if she's still eating the same way. So I'm going to show that to you guys today, show you what we're eating all day long here. Also, if you have not seen the video where I fed my coworker plant-based meals for seven days straight. Check it out right here. That way you can see what all happened for her. She ate plant-based, starch solution friendly, so oil-free, low fat, and all of that. And I'd love for you to check it out so you can see what happened for her on that short seven-day journey. I made some simple oat cookies the night before, so I made sure to pack one so that way she could eat one for breakfast tomorrow. Um, she doesn't eat as much as I do, so I know she could have one cookie and some fruit and be all set. Um, there's her oat cookie, and then I brought stuff to make us a really yummy lunch. You'll get to see all about that here in a bit. She brought us um, some nice fresh fruit. You like the oat cookie? love it. It's like a music video. Look. <laughs> What's the base of this? It is oats, mashed banana, and raisins. Everything else? Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Good. It tastes like sweet. My sweets right here. <laughs> So for breakfast, I have what I normally have. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that lately all I've been having is oats and fruit. And it's real convenient for me at work to just make a quick breakfast because I have my little water kettle that I plug in to the wall and I fill up some alkaline water into my kettle here. And it doesn't take long to start boiling at all. I have a container of old-fashioned oats that I keep at work and then one at home that way I've got some here and some there I just fill it up with a ton I don't measure anything I pour the hot water over my oats and what I usually do um, I just fill it to where the water is over the oats and I take a piece of paper and put it on top and let it steam and then whatever fruit that I brought that day sometimes it'll be bananas sometimes pears pears are so good right now but apples are always a go-to for sure can always rely on apples they're full of vitamin c which helps to absorb that iron from the oats also i've been eating these performance mushrooms i have been taking about a teaspoon and putting them on my oats after they have sat and steamed that way i don't lose any of the nutritional value um, from the hot water so i just add it in afterwards and they're supposed to help with cognitive function and they're powerful adaptogenic uh, properties in those mushrooms so i'm all about adaptogens i've been adding the superfood cream on top as well there's no added sugars it's all completely like natural ingredients and I really really love it it tastes so good mixed in with my oats I wanted to take just a second because it's been a while since I've talked about anything like this. I do take a B12 supplement every single day. I use this one that is actually the Alicia Silverstone line, um, My Kind Organics. It's made up of all natural, organic, like whole food goodness. I also encouraged my coworker to get one of these also and she ordered some herself. So Sammy had the idea that we would eat these like awesome sandwiches with, it was like hummus and bell peppers and- uh, Cucumbers. Which I don't have cucumbers. I feel so bad. I know. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't have. Oh no, I ruined it. I've got everything but the cucumbers. I thought I had some, but I didn't. But it's going to still be really, really good. And we'll show you what it looks like. So I cut up all of our rainbow colored bell peppers and I'm totally beating myself up for not having cucumbers. I like knew there was something missing from the sandwich, but I just didn't think of it. I'm like, oh, I've got all the, I've got all the stuff, but I didn't have the cucumbers. I felt so bad. She was really wanting that crunch in the sandwich, but she still liked it. Anyways, I'm cutting up the orange and the yellow. Uh, comment below, let me know what your favorite flavor bell pepper is. Mine is red. We've been trying to get everybody that comes in here to eat a bell pepper. They won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we managed to get one person. one person to eat a bell pepper, but we won't give up. We won't give up. <laughs> 
I brought some Ezekiel bread and some tin foil. Ezekiel bread is so healthy. It's sprouted bread. You find it in the freezer section at most grocery stores. I had this oil-free hummus um, from when I got to stop by Whole Foods when I made a trip um, to Austin. And here is some tofu that I actually, from the night before, um, sliced up and fried in some coconut aminos. This spring mix was so hard to open. <laughs> you got it yay so after i got some help with that i added the spring mix along with the rainbow bell peppers all on the sandwich doesn't it look so so good just mm. to taste the flavors are messing with my tongue <laughs> The what? The flavors. They're messing with your tongue? They're melting. Oh, melting. Oh. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> Does it taste so refreshing? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Yay. I have maintained plant eating plant-based as best as I could um, since my seven-day challenge. I have caved, emotionally caved into hot fries, not gonna lie. Um, but besides that, as far as like meat goes, I ate a tamale um, for Christmas. I tried to eat some pozole, the meat was just too bearing. Like I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I feel like I don't really wanna lean towards it anymore. I don't really have an interest or like a taste for it. So yeah, I've, I've con continued to eat plant-based for the most part. <laughs> Mine is the hot fries. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't had cheese or anything? No cheese, no cheese, Good job. no cheese. Um, of course, like the chips have like milk and stuff in them. Yeah. But as far as cheese, my cheese addiction, it's completely gone. Yay! <laughs> Some of the struggles I have faced um, with this lifestyle change is just like the emotional, um, how do you like binging not binging but like leaning towards comfort foods and if you if i'm not if i haven't eaten i'm quicker to like grab for something that's like already prepared that isn't healthy for me for instance like the hot fries and then um some of the other struggles that i faced were going into like the holidays and like holiday tradition like with pasole and stuff like that for christmas i tried to eat it because i i'm used to eating it but it was different for me eating it i couldn't indulge as i did years before so i have continued to lose weight through this lifestyle change i believe i left off at four pounds i'm now at 12 to 14 pounds lost um and that is just really not eating any meat oils anything really bad um staying super hydrated and i want to see how much weight i can lose my go-to meals that i've been leaning towards since um, the change and switch over is definitely sweet potatoes um, and if I do want like a salty snack I'll just like sliver up um, regular potatoes and throw them into the oven and make them like chips broccoli for sure um, what else fruit definitely fruit and oh. yeah fruit lots of fruit I would say that I do enjoy this type of lifestyle eating um, plant-based it's very fulfilling and um, refreshing just to know that everything I am putting into my body and indulging in is healthy rather than not um, I feel very ener energetic more so than before and yeah I'm gonna continue this lifestyle my favorite thing about this way of eating is that everything is pretty much already prepared for you um, you don't really have to cook anything it's pretty much already made for you um, as far as just chopping and eating and I love it I wanted to show you a little shot of my sandwich. I added some of the wild brine sauerkraut on top of mine because I love it so much. I keep it in my fridge at work in my office and added it on my sandwich. It was so, so, so good. And here's a shot of that oil-free uh, hummus that I was telling you about. It's from a brand called Cedars. I don't have this anywhere near me. I have to drive an hour to go get it. So it was my first time trying it. And here's me eating my sandwich. It was awesome. I also had to, of course, dip a little bit of bell pepper in the remaining hummus because couldn't let that go to waste. 
I also ended up plopping a sweet potato that I had uh, in my bag in the microwave as well. So it's the next day and look at this healthy oh. lunch that she brought to work today. You got a sweet potato, you got some rice, some cucumbers, and, and salt some and pepper. Carrots. It, looks, salt it looks so pretty, so yummy. An update, you said you lost more weight? Yeah, 16 pounds. <gasps> oh my gosh! I don't really see it, but I feel you it. You feel it, yay! Yeah. Living proof. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back to another one of my videos. If you made it all the way through, hit the like button. Let me know that you made it through. I appreciate your support so much. Berkeley, say hi. Say hi. Hi. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my plant-based inspiration.